Hey, I need radio. Yeah, that little red light. Oh, it's I need on. It. <laughs> okay, so we're on, and I'm going to ask that everybody's quiet in the background unless I call on you. So we're figuring out today where do the lines intersect. Our two lines are y equals one-third x plus two, y equals negative x minus two. This is number four from a uh, solving systems of equations by graphing worksheet. There will be a, a, a link underneath y equals one third x plus two, y equals negative x minus two. The first thing I want to do is set these equations equal to each other. So I'm going to write one third x plus two equals negative x minus two. I'm allowed to do that because we have a y in each equation and it's the substitution property. We take one third x plus two equals negative x minus two and we solve for the variable. I want to get all the x's to one side so I'm going to add x to both sides. We have 4 thirds x plus 2 equals negative 2. I want to get the x by itself, so 4 thirds x minus 2 minus 2 equals negative 4. Then I'm going to multiply each side by the reciprocal, 3 fourths. Now we're left with x equals, this reduces, this reduces, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Once we find x, we plug that back into the equation to find the y point. So now we come up here, and it doesn't matter which equation you pick, I'm going to pick the first one. So y equals negative x minus 2. y equals negative, negative 3 minus 2. y equals 3 minus 2. y equals 1. So the point of intersection for these two points, or sorry, these two lines, is negative 3, 1. Real quick graph. Mariko, am I still on the uh, screen? Yeah. Okay, so this is our quick graph. I'm going to graph the first one. The y-intercept is 2. I know that's a point. And rise over 1, rise over run is 1 over 3. So I rise 1 and run 3. This is another point for this first line. Bam. That's the first line. In purple, I'll do the other one. So I just did this one. So now we have negative x minus 2. We go minus 2 is the y-intercept. We put a point, And rise over run is negative 1. So up 1 over 1. There. Up 1. We can keep going. But that's the information we need. We double check. Negative 3, 1. That looks good. So that's how you find the intersection point of two lines. 